Hello oh, my friends, my family, and my followers, it's Hike360 here and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Welcome to Lassen Volcanic National Park in California. Hey, we're in California. We're here to do a five mile hike today from the Lassen Peak Trailhead to the Lassen Peak Summit. And that is going to be about a 2,000 foot uh, increase in elevation. And yeah, like I said, it's going to be five miles. All right, we're 400 feet up from the parking area. And this is California, man. There's no picas. There's no squeak, squeak, squeak. No, marmots. No marmots. Uh, what was the name of this lake straight ahead? Almoner. Almoner. Lake Almoner. The views are, are actually kind of harder to see. I mean, obviously you get a great horizon, but it's hard to see details. Uh, so we started at 8,500 feet as we go in. Oh, we got a lot of chipmunk friends. 8,500 feet and we're going up to 10,500, so the altitude is not crazy high. So this talks about aging the rocks, and apparently 27,000 years ago, reasonably short. Since this peak's formation. Yeah. So, but there was a picture a little bit down farther uh, where uh, just 100 years ago, 1907, something like that. 1914. Somebody, it's 1914, somebody picked, took a photo of gas escaping. So it was, it was a gas eruption, uh, which is a lot better than a explosion and a lava eruption. But that was just 100 years ago. So this volcano is, um, I, I, I guess that would make it kind of active, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of active. Yeah. All right, so we're getting real close to the summit here. We passed a couple groups of hikers. Uh, one group was saying how beautiful the the view is at the top. You get to see out the other side, the which other we, side of the mountain. yeah, the other side of the mountain, which we haven't seen yet. And the other group we passed, they were kind of struggling. Oh, but it looks like they're still coming. If that's them, yeah, well, it looks like them. Maybe, maybe not. That's true. Uh, so, anyways, we're getting close. Beautiful view of the big blue lake right right over there um, kind of close to the parking lot but you now we've been talking about how beautiful this trail is how well done and safe uh, this is steady incline really hats off to the the crews that keep this trail going nice job for real and I think we've got about 200 more feet of ascent before, before we, max, we max out. Yeah, you can see the peak where we're going, a little hunk of electronics peeking out through the rocks. Some solar panels. And... Oh, I also want to correct myself when I said there's no pikas here, because there are. We heard them, squeak, squeak. And we also came across a placard that said that they're here. And the placard brought up a good point, which is that the pikas are really sensitive creatures and they survive in the cold. That's why they're found so high up on the mountain. And with the uh, increase in temperature and global warming, they're being found higher and higher up the mountains. And the question is, where are they gonna go when they can't go any higher? Cause they're already kind of as high as it gets. And they said, are they gonna migrate to the next peak, the next higher peak, which is Mount Shasta? Oh, fascinating. Yeah. That's a big migration. I mean, that's a long way for a little animal. <laughs> yeah. But it'll be cold enough in the winter to do it, if they like that cold weather. How would they know? 
They have little Pika walkie talkies. Pika antennae. Little little Pika cell phones. Pikachu! Pikachu's! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was building to. <laughs> Pikachu! Oh, and also, I'm gonna make this a long video, I guess. There is a special species of plant up here. I'm blanking on the name now. Alpine flower of sort. It's found only here, only on this mountain, uh, between this mountain and another section of the park not that far away. So that's really neat. And Dad, you brought up a good point. It's fascinating that these wildflowers can be so localized. Yeah. These ecosystems can be so localized. All right. All right. Hey, we're getting up there. Not too far to go, feel great. Ryan is three days post marathon. So that can't go without a bit of applause. He's still wearing his medal. A little extra weight for the hike up to the mountain. There we go. First marathon. Boise marathon. That's three days and three states ago. All right, we are almost at the peak. We got a little snow. Well. I don't think that ever melted. That might be from last last year. That looks pretty compacted. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking north, which gives that snow a little bit of uh, break from the sun. Straight north, so these crags in front of us, not to be confused with, what, what was that crag? Chaos crags. Chaos crags, which is behind it. Behind that is... Mount Shasta. So if you look at what looks like a cloud, yeah. the highest cloud is actually Mount Shasta at 14,179 feet. And then uh, we got a nice diagram here. There's this great education, as we mentioned the whole way. The top of the peak, which we're gonna go to next, right up there, but this is just such a great little break area. Um, and what I find amazing is, if we go over here, this line of mountains, I'm pretty sure that's the Sierra Nevadas, because we are close enough to see them. So I'm going to say this is mostly south. So behind this pile of rock here on our mountain, after the valley, that next peak of mountains, I'm pretty sure. Sierra Nevadas. Oh, and the pack says that, so we're at the bottom end of the ring of fire, the volcanoes that are still reasonably active, uh, going around Alaska, down the Asian coast, Korea, Japan, to Australia. Let's go all the way to Australia? Indonesia, Indonesia. yeah down in Indonesia and uh, um, New Zealand, <clears throat> so not Australia. And most of the mount or most of the volcanoes have been active in the last 2000 years. Pretty crazy. All right. Uh, here hey, we are. Hey, I, I feel great. Sitting on top of Mount Lassen. Lassen Peak. Lassen Peak. The volcano that uh, just that rock that's behind you. you see there's like two big boulders there just that beautiful black yep. volcanic rock yeah nice eyes that's a that's a good a nice two boulders to pick out a lot of sulfur remains so we got Mount Shasta right behind Ryan uh did kind of go through those so how do you feel that was 2000 just shy of 2000 feet right i i just loved it it was a fun hike oh i have 2000 exactly two literally two zero 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 there we go wow that's pretty impressive yeah cut it yeah speeds at 0, 0.0 as well nice yeah add a couple more zeros yeah it took us a little less than two hours to get up here pretty good yeah it actually took us a lot less. We've been here for about a half hour. Yeah, it took us a lot less than two hours. Um, 
Yeah, we're 10,400 and 10,000, yeah, call it 10,500, we'll round up. We were up there just a second ago, so. Yeah, this, this is a great peak. I think uh, it's underrated because I've, again, never heard of anyone coming here or mentioning this national park. Yeah. And this is well worth a trip. Uh, get yourself up to Lassen Peak and, and check out Check out the vol volcanoes all around. Yeah, and it is the bottom of the volcano string. So if you're coming out to Sierra Nevadas, take a day trip, come up here and check out some volcanoes because Sierra Nevadas are traditional mountains. They're not volcanic. And this just changes everything. I don't know, just that background is so surreal. All right, so we're, we're coming back to reality here. And I got uh, a little over five miles and three hours and 20 minutes from here. So that I call it three and a half hours. We killed this hike because we took half an hour at the top. So I think it was more like 45. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we took a lot of time at the top. But uh, yeah, never in my life has 2,000 feet of elevation felt so easy. Yeah. What a nice feeling that is. Yeah, that's a really good And point. coming down 2,000 feet is like... We were running. <laughs> so I don't know what's happened, but uh, our legs are cooperating beyond our wildest dreams. So And that's Certainly having for been me. sleeping in cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's been an excellent outcome.